It's freaking raining. I'm gonna die. It's raining. I don't have a waterproof bag. So I'd like to get back to the truck. As quickly as possible. The only thing is that I don't run. I'm at like 8,000 feet. So I'm dead. Oh my God. It's one thing to exercise for the first time. It's another Jimbo. What are you doing? Gathering. He's following me home. Oh my god, I have like the farthest run ever. Not only do I have to get out of this trail, I have to go from the trail to my car. Which is in itself probably like three quarters of a mile, maybe. Half a mile. I don't know. Either way, it's more time than I'd like to be in inside the rain. That's for sure. All I'm saying is, that camera ain't cheap. Oh shit. It's getting windy. To me, that means rain. It's your rain. Mother of God. It started raining. Oh my god, how am I going to survive? I'm not an athlete, I don't run, dude. I got my camera in my backpack. This backpack is not waterproof. I didn't think this far ahead, the rain came out of nowhere. <sighs> I'm now going to, I guess now I'm just going to be a marathon runner. See you guys on the other side of the finish line. I don't know if I've truly made it, but I mean, I, I came out over there, then I started going this way because I didn't want to take the risk and go eye level with the basin because I didn't do that. But it looks like this trail is a complete wrong direction. So, oh, there's the rain again, lovely. I love that, I love that so much. Awesome, wow, it's like really coming down now. Bruh, are you kidding me? What is this madness? What the frick? Bruh, stop it right now. I want to just walk across, but I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can go that way. Awesome. I'm soaked. I'm gonna be soaked. I didn't make it. I did not make it out of the rain. Now I'm wet. Can't believe I didn't make it. I was running my heart out. And I still didn't make it. Sometimes your best is just not good enough. I agree with the little girl. There must have been a hat throwing ceremony. Graduation. Yellowstone, the Midway Basin. All right, we're walking. This is kind of incredible. I shouldn't say kind of, it is. I guess I feel like an idiot. Wow, what is fancy stuff? Parker has a theory about the hats. Yeah. I think there was a hat throwing ceremony. <laughs> that was an experience. Whether it was the rain, the hike, the people, I don't know. There was a lot of stuff going on in that, that little thing. I passed the same couple hiking like four times. And at the last time, I was like, 
Oof. Escape the rain. I do want to go see the geyser, though. Should I do it? I'm like, I don't know. And I was like, I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. And then I went the wrong way. So then I passed them again on the way to the parking lot. And then I found out that they parked in front of me. So that was cool. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's next after this, to be honest with you. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? It's like 7? 6? It's 6. Part of me is thinking, just drive. And then go back to Cody. And get some food. Some real food this time. Not freaking beef jerky and Wendy's. Um, I saw a little restaurant that I kind of wanted to, to try, a little barbecue place. So I might go try that. Um, I'm going I'm to pull over at some point, look at the map, see what's left. Ugh. I mean, I'm definitely not doing any hikes. The Wolf Watch, maybe, but I still have to drive all the way around for that. And that's probably going to put me through to nighttime. Yeah, probably not. I'm not going to do that. I am tired. I am so tired you don't even know oh you know what there was actually another thing i wanted to mention about me being at that waterfall after the hike i was sitting there like eating my pringles next to this kid and the chipmunks just kept running up next to the kid and that's what the super hd video is of the chipmunk he was like literally like five feet away from not even five feet away it was like literally maybe 36 inches that's three feet no wrong the chipmunk was literally like under his ass for one and then there was another one like on his backpack and then he moved, he jumped on like the little log thing and that's when I recorded it but um while I was sitting there like that's when I was at first eating my Pringles and then I started hearing the thunderstorm I was like well shit gotta do some you know some fancy stuff and start running so I did and then um there was this guy like walking back down like coming from the waterfall and I'm like why is he like staring at my Pringles can like dude are you really about to, like, ask me for a Pringle? Like, I don't really care. I'll give him a Pringle, but, like, you don't have to make it that obvious. And then he was like, main maritime or mass maritime? I was like, mass maritime. No, I'm just kidding. I was like, mass maritime. Represent, buddy. Represent. He was like, oh, my nephew goes there. And me being the socially awkward person that I am, I wasn't like, oh, my God, what's your son's name? Well, they know what, what year. I mean, not son, no, your nephew. What's you know, what's your nephew's name and what year is he in? Because I just graduated. I might know him. And instead, I was like, oh, what? That, that, that's cool. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was definitely in shock seeing someone from, I mean, they must have been from Massachusetts then, probably. Um. And talking about mass maritime, that's just not exactly what you want to think about when you're at Yellowstone. I, I have yet to find a Yellowstone, actually. It's kind of baloney. But, um, yeah, if someone's uncle talks about seeing some random kid in a green maritime t-shirt eating barbecue Pringles next to a waterfall after a two-mile hike, that was me. Uh, reach out. Tell me who you are. I want to know, because it, it actually could be someone that I know, for all I know. This is the most that I've ever exercised, ever. Look at me. I'm a freaking disaster. It rained on me. Look. Wow. Incredible. Look at that. Incredible. Incredible views. Oh, no, the sun sh shining in my eyes. Yeah, I think that's about everything that I'm going to see today. <laughs> <coughs> Elevation sickness! Altitude sickness! Oh my god, I'm dying. Ugh. Yeah, I think that's it for me. I'm, I think I'm going to go home. I'm going to go back to Cody, sleep for the night, get some food. And then tomorrow's Grand Tetons, but I'm debating whether I want to just ride the motorcycle through them or if I actually want to go there and hike things. I don't know if I really want to hike things tomorrow. I feel like I need like a chill day. I'm like straight up dying. This is the most exercise I've ever gotten since like orientation of college and I mean that that was the first time I've ever gained weight I gained 10 pounds in orientation hey man Timmy Jonathan Kyle how you doing hey what's going on Timmy what's going on Frank how you doing buddy have a nice day What's going on, little, little Timmy? 
Brian, what did we say about walking on the wrong side of the road? All right, little Tim, enough of the traffic cone, buddy. Jesus. Hey, what's going on, Tim? How you doing? All right, see you later, Timmy. Have a good day, bud. Brian just does not get it. He will never, he, he just won't get it. He'll never understand that in America, we drive on the right side. Although it would be interesting if we drove on the left. The amount of accidents that would be caused if we just randomly changed it to the left side would be quite hysterical, not gonna lie. Guys, come on, get out of the road. Come on, Billy. I thought we talked about this yesterday. These are the, exactly the guardrails that I was talking about. Why do they end at the corner that you're driving at? You're just gonna go right off the freaking edge. Who designed that? Like, what the heck? It should be like that. You should follow the road. It shouldn't just end. On a side note, that looks very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And that looks even nicer. And I'm gonna stop for that. All right. We're finally, oh, wrong side, hold on. Whoop. We're leaving, it's finally over. It's been real. I'm leaving, and so is this little guy. He just said, screw it, he's leaving. Hey, Billy. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on, man? Don't worry about me. I'm just gonna take a photo. Hey, what's going on, Bill? Don't worry about me, I'm just taking a photo.